full of Zendikar Rising pre-release packs. And as a bonus from, um, you guys got to check this place out, Mothership uh, Gaming and Books, MothershipATX.com. Um, I, I got a pre-release kit from these guys, and they sent me two boosters and a set rising booster to go with that. It's just like insane value. Um, I mean, I did also get a uh, collector box from them, which hasn't arrived yet, but still, like, yeah, they, they didn't have to do this at all. So we're going to open this up, uh, hopefully get some good mojo from that Southern Hospitality. Um, and then this is another one I got from a different source just because I wanted to cover my bases and make sure I had a little little something to open up. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and do this one first. Be able to get my knife ready. Yeah, I had an amazing luck with my collector's booster. I don't know if any of y'all saw that. Um, my first six pre-release kits were, were decent. They weren't bad, but uh, they weren't uh, anything to write home about, but... I did get four fetch lands out of, out of the, uh, thanks, we got a thieving skydiver, out of the collector's booster, so that was really cool to see, so, all right, let's get into this. All right, so these are still the non-Japanese style. Scavenger. Okay, I don't have this one yet. And a nice Whirlpool Island. Alright. Where the cards, where the product is, and the product where the cards is. Obviously, uh, we're looking for a lithoform engine. That would be really cool. Um, that's the best part of the set, but of course that would be cool. I also need some more uh, feed the uh, feed the swarms. So we're just a hungry roll mage. Cleric of life spawn. That's good. I'm going to cleric deck. And we got a hacker mauling. destruction spell especially with a weird clause on it like that but we got one oh it's it's also a land that's what it is it's a land on the other side so there's the added value there and we got the Kaza Royal Chaser and a really cool mountain Yeah, definitely check out Mothership. Uh, that place is really cool. Uh, they're just really, uh, really communicative. Seem like real nice people. And we got another Throne of McKindy and a Thundering Spark Mage foil. Okay. Don't think I really need any more Thrones of McKindy. But uh, I seriously doubt that will be the last time I see one. I shouldn't have said that before I opened this pack. That was dumb. that the scourge of the skyclaves i just saw some really interesting comboing with this apparently um oh cool whoa double mythic pack damn i need this one for my land uh landfall deck too well well gee golly darn i was like that's three mythics out of a pre-release pack that's intense all right Awesome. I knew that Southern Hospitality was going to have some kind of effect on the pulls. Um, yeah, but back to Scourge of the Skyclaves. Um, so it looks really weird, right? So power depth would equal to 20 minus the highest life total among players, which normally is mediocre at best, 
right? Um, but if you play it in Commander, then it's negative negative. Now, not bear with me here. So you kick it, um, and you can still half everyone's life. Um, but then the highest life total is so pro I mean, unless no one's gained any life, it's probably going to be over 20, so it'll end up being negative, and then you can use that. Um, or even, like, don't play the kicker part of it, um, and just get it into your graveyard. Then you use that to, um, make negative the casting cost of the, uh, Naeth of the Dire Hunt mutate ability from Ikoria. Um, it, it was in the Commander, uh, Command Zone podcast. Anywho, awesome. So yeah, that was that was kind of mediocre until that very last pack, and now it is freaking awesome. So, all right, now we've got two more. These is only be my second set booster ever opened. Um, I got one for for my LGS when I bought my first pre-release uh, set at six. So yeah, let's see uh, what we gonna get in here. Oh, this is now this is a Japanese style pack because the arena is out there. And let me see, does it have a pull tab? Oh, it doesn't have a pull tab. Well, maybe that wasn't the same pack. Huh. But yeah, this is the Japanese style pack, so we've got... Oh, there's our rare right there. The Clearwater Pathway. Pretty, pretty. And I'm pr pretty sure that's drawn in the background there, because it's a pretty distinct profile. I got another Cleric there, that's good. Yeah, these, def like, these feel different. They feel so glossy and smooth. I... Heard someone else talking about that, and I wasn't sure what what they were talking about, but now I know. Like these, I mean, these don't feel rough, but these just feel like ultra silky. Silky is a good word for it. So yeah, this is definitely a Japanese pack, and I see what people mean about how you can damage the cards by using them sometimes. So, all right, Token Land and the Tajuru Paragon. Oh, let's get that on camera, why don't we? If it was kicked, reveal the top six cards of your library. You might put a creature that shares a creature type with it. Okay, so it's basically very similar to the um, to Nahiri's, one of Nahiri's plus abilities. Yeah, these do. These feel really nice. If y'all can get a, a hold of any of these made in Japan packs, oof. It's almost a shame to put. What does Rudy do? I'm just ashamed to put sleeves on these, they feel so good. Okay, that's the rare. And now, last but not least, we have this, which is not Japanese style because there's no pull tab there, so this is going to be the other order. It should be. Alright, yeah, I forgot. The set boosters have art on them. This is one of the planes arts. And then we have our full art land. Now we're going to have our themed commons and uncommons. Oh, that's cool. I haven't seen one of those yet. Two, another uncommon, uncommon. That's a lot of uncommons. Holy crap. Those are mostly uncommons. And another common, another common. All right, a Shia Soul of the Wild, another mythic. And a foil Feed the Swarm. I don't think we got any other Feed the Swarms. I might not have been paying too much attention, but I kind of want... Oh, and we did get a card from the list. Okay, future. Huh. Eh. Yeah, that's interesting mechanic, but but no, yeah, that's okay. That's 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 definitely a very nice selection of cards because this right here, this is like the best common out of this set. It's also is it off center? It looks off center, but I don't think it is. Cool. Uh, so I've only opened two set boosters, and both of them have had list cards, so that's not very likely. Um, I haven't, like, you know, made any ridiculous hits on it, but still, that's pretty, pretty cool. All right, so that's the that's the mothership, Motherload, as you can tell. We now have a whole nother set, or a whole nother uh, pre-release kit to open, however, so let's just go ahead and take care of that. Where am I? All right, I'm burying cards here. I'm an irresponsible collector.
I have a feeling people are going to start yelling at me yelling at me about my piles. Oh, it looks like we got a Kazandu Mammoth. I really wish they didn't put it right there so you just see it immediately. I keep on meaning to hide that from myself. Oh, that was a red dye. We got a red dye and like a bone colored dye. It's slightly, it's not quite white. That dye ain't white. Cool. No real hits in that area of either of these packs, but you know, as we've seen, we can go from zero to 60 real, real quick there. Definitely some non-Japanese packs. And another Tajuru Paragon. Oops, sorry guys, keep on doing that. Hey, we got a foil showcase canopy veil off. Very minimalist on that art. Pretty cool though. And our island and our modal mojo card. Oh, that was a token, plant token. Just throwing things around here. There's my feed the swarm, yay. Okay, got a couple of showcases there, that's nice. And a skyclave shade, okay. I got a bunch of those, I have a feeling that's not going to change anytime soon either. Alright, let's get. There's also that shrine. What's that shrine called? Or the lithoform engine. Alright, well, Relic Vial, that's good. Skyclave Cleric and the Squad Commander. Okay, I think we got that as one of our promos. There's the foil. Alright. <clears throat> So I guess odds are almost there to get a mythic in a pre-release kit, but you're not definitely not guaranteed to go and buy any search of the imagination, but they're one out of seven point four packs now, right? So that's pretty close to one out of six. Oh, there's Tabarax Hope's Demise. Do need another one of those for my cleric deck, so that's good. And a stupid, stupid ad card. Alright, two more packs left in this. Try to keep this under fifteen minutes as I'm only opening like what, fifteen packs? And I feed the swarm. That makes more than the playset for me, which is good because I need them in multiple decks. Did I put my Tabrax in there? I think I did. I'll dig that out later. And we got the Grackmoss Skyclave Ravager. Hydrahora. So those Hydra tokens are for. Island token. Where'd Tabrax? There it is. All right, and the last pack. Last time our last pack had two Mythics in it. Hopefully we can match that. But honestly, you know, four Mythics and 15 packs is pretty damn spicy any way you look at it. So I'm not too worried either way. Sky Sail Cleric, Spring Mantle Cleric, Song by Treachery No Cleric, and hey, there's the Mythic, the Seagate Stormcaller. And this was, oh hey, we got a Foil Rare as well, a bonus. All right, so... This is one of the lands that... Oh, no, it's not the land. Uh, this is not a land. That was the other Seagate thing. But, um, yeah, the duplication spell is pretty pretty powerful. Although, to kick it, you need seven mana. Still. And then... Library. Okay, nice little cycling card for red. But uh, only enters the battlefield tap, unfortunately. So, But it is foil. And foil always looks nice in fire cards. The way the flame glows and shimmers is rather appealing, don't you think? All right, so yeah, that's pretty amazing, y'all. Uh, we got five mythics out of fifteen packs. That's uh, one out of every three packs. That's uh, that's insane. They got the Shy of the Soul of the Wild and the Ancient Green Warden, two of the better green cards in the set, and uh, a nice little pile of other goodies and some full art lands. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a wonderful day.